Hey, what's going on, my gilded brethren? This is the uh, graphic that I'll be showing you all today. It's the logo, rest in peace logo technique. You see my logo's going to heaven. No, I'm just kidding. But today I'll be going over this advanced lighting technique. Uh, Photoshop CS 5.5. I'm pretty. It, it might be in other other uh, Photoshop's, but I'm not sure. I'm working with CS 5.5, and um, it's a pretty nice effect. Look at it. Look, look at it. Just rays of light as it floats up to heaven. It's floating away. It's leaving us forever. Rest in peace. But nah. What I want you to do now is go up to File and New, and my Dimensions are 1000 by 1000, color mode RGB. Hit OK. And we're going to start off with a gradient. And the gradient is going to be a light gray going into a darker gray. But I'm going to give you the, the color codes. For the light gray, the color code is 7B, 7B, 7B. And for the darker gray, let's see what the darker gray is 36, 36, 36. Hit OK. And we're going to start in the top left hand corner. I'm holding down shift to keep the line as straight as possible. And come to about right there. And let it go. And that's 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 perfect. And now grab the text tool. And the font I'm using today is Agency FB. You can Google that. It's a free font. I'll, I'll have the link in the description. And to really uh, whatever your font size you can make that whatever you like but we're gonna change the color code on this on the font and we're gonna change that to C to C 8 D 4 and this is what color the font will be to start out with alright and you know what I'm typing I'm typing in gilded at 5 alrighty let me resize this real quick. I'm going to hit Control T. I'm going to bring the size down a little bit. Keep it uniform. Hold Shift. All right, center that. Alrighty. I'm going to open the Layers panel. All right. And now what I want you to do is Control click on the text layer. So the outline is selected and create a new layer above that. And now I want you to go back to the gradient menu. And I want you to have transparent. I want this to be transparent. Hold on. Transparent. So turn the opacity all the way down. And this down here is not going to be transparent. And I want you to change that color code to 495A79. Hold on, I messed up. I messed up somewhere in here. Okay, uh, what's going on with this? Alrighty, there we go. Take that up a little bit. And alright, the color code, we're going to have that just like this transparent to to the the darker blue and I want you to start in this left the whatever you wrote go to the left hand corner of the first letter and just take it straight over take it slant it to the right hand corner and you should get something that looks just like that it's a nice nice bluish to blue color you can't really tell it looks for real it looks white still to be honest and all right, now I want you to control click the your um whatever you got spelled again and create a layer under it. Put this layer under it. And reset the colors, bring your foreground to black. And what I want you to do is hit alt backspace. And what this is going to do is fill the outline of your whatever you wrote, whatever you typed, I mean, in with black and then I want you to hit the arrow key. I want you to hit it once, down, and to the right. And what we're doing now is we're adding a 3D effect to to um to the to this uh the the letters. And we're going to create several layers. We're just going to 
rinse and repeat new layer alt backspace right down new layer alt backspace right down new layer alt backspace down right new layer alt backspace down right new layer alt backspace down right you see what we're doing we're extruding we're extruding it without extruding this is the manual way no no blending options this time alrighty All right, and we're gonna do this about 13 times same same thing. new layer alt backspace down right 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 alrighty now hit control D yeah uh, hold on let me see something alright and what we're gonna do now is all these new layers that we just created we're gonna call this the shadow layer so all the layers the extrusion layers we're gonna merge all of those and we're gonna call it shadow shadow layer okay alrighty and now what I want you to do is on the shadow layer go up to filter and blur and we're gonna go to motion blur motion blur and the angle is gonna be a 45 degree angle and it's, the distance is gonna be 30 pixels alright there we go and now with this layer still selected I want you to hold shift and hit right hold on you gotta have the arrow the arrow selected before you can do this and with this layer selected hold shift and hit down and right and what we did was we moved the shadow well yes the shadow layer we moved it we shifted down 10 pixels and to the right 10 pixels and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer hold on before we do that let's not jump the gun we're gonna set the blending mode to multiply and set the opacity to 40 percent alright there we go it's looking ghostly already alright and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the layer and we're going to go back up to motion blur back to motion blur motion blur and what we're going to do this time, we're going to change the distance to 50 pixels. Alright. And we're going to set the uh, opacity at 20%. And we're just adding to the shadow trail. Look at it. Look at that. Alright, alright, alright. Now what we do is, I want you to create a layer above all these layers. And right here, this top layer, control click on your text, whatever you typed in, and we're gonna fill this layer with white. We're gonna fill it with white, make the foreground color white, and just alright, got that. And now with this arrow tool, so make sure you got the arrow selected. We're going to move down, down one to the right one time and now hit delete hit delete on the keyboard oh man whoops let's see hold on let's see did I just did I just mess up yes I messed up hold on All right. control highlight that and fill that with white and then go down. Whoops. Arrows tool selected. Go down and to the right. One time. And hit delete. Alright, there we go. Man. That 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 was pretty difficult, wasn't it? And you see what we did was we added a little white outline. 
Oh, no, I kind of messed up. I got to delete mine. Let me restart. R restart. Right, I'm going to control click on the letters with uh, the new layer selected above all. And I'm going to fill it with white. There we go. Alright, now select the arrow. Down one to the right one. Hit delete. For some reason, it is just not sticking. I'm gonna get it. Just wait. Whoops. Alrighty. And if you did it correctly, you'll see a white line, like white outline. And it's gonna add to the lighting effect. And what we're going to do now is slide this over, make the opacity 80%. Alrighty. Now, what we're going to do is, let me zoom to zoom out. What we're going to do now is, we're going to grab the uh, rectangle tool and make sure your rectangle tool is set to fill pixels. And this is follow my lead, follow my lead. Watch what I do. We're gonna start off by making us little, little, little rectangle boxes. The first one make it the thinnest. The second one make it a little too fatter than the first one. And the same goes for the third one, make it a little fatter than the first, the, the second one. And the fourth one gonna make the fattest alrighty alright that's cool that's cool oh my goodness I made a terrible mistake create a new layer first new layer new layer and then first rectangle the thinnest second one a little thicker than the first one third one thicker than the second one and the last one will be the thickest of all alrighty there we go now what I want you to do is hit control T and we're going to change the angle of these these will become our light rays alright we're gonna extend that and we're gonna extend that up and before you get rid of the uh, the box the uh, transform box I want you to right click and hit perspective and up top I want you to bring these closer bring those lines close cl those lines closer and then at the bottom I want you to pull them, pull them further apart so it looks like light is projecting from the top area and then hit OK bring the the light strips back out bring the layers back out I mean and we're gonna go up to filter and we're gonna go to blur Gaussian blur and set it to around 9 pixels I have mine set at 9.1 I have it set to 9.1 pixels hit OK and we're going to change the blending mode to overlay and set the opacity at 20%. Alrighty. 20%. Where's 20%? There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a kind of warm light feeling now. I'm going to add some warmth, warmth to this light. You know, I want you to click on the background and right above it and hit new layer. And all right, we're gonna add. A, we're gonna fill this this layer with pink. And the color code for pink is the color pink you need is 9D506C. Hit OK. Grab the paint bucket. Fill that. And what I want you to do now is change the blending mode to color. And take the opacity down to. 
Alright. There we go. It's not as harsh now. Okay, on this layer, I want you to create a new layer. And on this layer, I want you to fill it. Fill the layer with white. Fill this layer with white. And I want you to go up to render. Go up to filter and render. Render lighting effects. And the style of, of lighting you want is the 2 o'clock spotlight. And when you first create it, the two o'clock spotlight is going to be over here, but you you bring you bring the spotlight over here. Alrighty, bring the spotlight over here and put it and try to angle it with the um, with our light streak our light streaks that we created. Try to have it at the same angle as they are entering the photo, the uh, the graphic, so it all meshes well together. I hit OK. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> I'll see you when I get there, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it looks like it, like the the gates have opened for my for my uh, logo. It's floating on away. But hey, let's let's finish this. Let's finish this. And what I want you to do now is change the blending mode to overlay. Change the overlay. And take the opacity down to. 40% Alrighty, and now I want you to duplicate it one time alright and I want you to duplicate it one more time duplicate the layer again but this new layer I want you to move all the way to the top and alright now this this isn't the end we have to do a little bit of adjusting now. On this layer, I want you to click Add Layer Mask, and I want you to grab the Gradient Tool. Grab the Gradient Tool and select from white to black, harsh white to a uh, harsh black to a harsh white. I want you to start in this corner down here. Hold Select, so let's keep straight. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna dim it out a little bit, make it look like it makes it look more realistic. And now, on this layer, hit Control, hit Control to outline, outline, outline our uh, light rays. And on our highlight layer, with the where you deleted the uh, the white text at, with that selected, hit Add Layer Mask. And there you go. That's the effect. I, I think it looks it it looks <laughs> heavenly. I think it looks heavenly. But hey, throw my video a like, comment, subscribe. If you need any help with anything, let me know. Requests, logos. I'm here. But hey, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. But hey, have a happy YouTube day. Thanks a lot.